Hi, my name is Marie Moore, and since my freshman year here at Newman, I have been a commuter student, so for about a year and a half. So this past January, I was given the opportunity to live on campus for six weeks. And I've already been here for about a week and a half, and I have started to detail um, like the differences between being a on-campus student versus off-campus. And um, I'll be coming out with videos over the next six weeks, um, going just like minute long videos, just kind of giving my perspective about the differences. So I hope that these videos, if you do live on campus, um, I hope that they give you a new appreciation for the dorms. Um, or if you live off campus and you're thinking about living on campus, I hope that my perspective can um, give you some insight about being an on-campus student. So look forward to those. Hey guys, it's Marie, and I wanted to start off my series of the differences between dorm life and life as a commuter student with a difference that we've all probably noticed throughout this entire week, and that is the weather. So throughout this week, we've been having some crappy weather with some ice and some snow. And when I was a commuter student, I felt like I had to be really aware of the weather just so I could account for maybe some extra time in the morning to scrape my windshield or drive a little bit slower on the road to account for dangerous driving conditions. And um, it really makes a difference because here at the dorms, I have a three minute walk from my dorm to my first class in Bishop Gerber. So I've been waking up just 20 minutes before my class every single day and it's been ridiculously convenient. So that is one of the biggest differences that I've seen. Hi, it's Marie and I just wanted to do a little dorm tour for those of you who may not be familiar with how the dorms are set up here. So I'm in Beata and here we have like a nice living area and we have a place to sit down and eat with a refrigerator and microwaves. And it's really nice to have a sink too, to be able to do dishes. And then in all these cabinets, we have room for our snacks. And um, in case we can't make it to a meal, we've got all our stuff in there. Um, then down the hall, we have all the rooms and then our bathroom area, two sinks and two bathroom and shower. Um, and then down this hall is my room. My room has been set up for a couple weeks. I've got my mirror in here and I've got nice lighting in here and everything's set up awesome. So I'm just sitting down to study. Hey guys, it's Marie and I just wanted to tell you something really cool and new about the building that I'm living in. Something that is a little bit different. Um, since I've gotten here, they actually install um, like a TV and a printer out here in this main area of Vienna. So let me just show you. They have like a computer and a printer out here. And then across the hall, they have, you know, the ping pong table that's been there. And then a really nice cozy couch and a TV. So for anybody who... Um, kind of wants to be in community like out, outside the dorm. But as far as the printer, it was a lifesaver for me during class because I didn't want to walk all the way across campus to the library. So it was incredibly easy to just walk out of my dorm and have this printer right here. Hey guys, it's Marie and I just wanted to talk for a second about um, what it's like living with other people in the dorms. Um, so I live in Beata, so everyone has their own individual space, but um, with there being four or five people in the dorms, the trash can kind of um, pick up pretty quickly around here. So one of the common courtesies that I would recommend if you are living on campus is to be courteous of your roommates and um, if trash is piling up, don't let, don't just assume that another one of your roommates is gonna take it out, just go ahead and take it out yourself. Um, and then with this common area, it's always nice to keep it clean and keep it organized so that um, everyone has their own space to get ready in the morning. So that's one of the things about living in the dorms that you have to take into consideration and those are my tips. 
Hey guys, it's Marie, and I just got out of my rehearsal for Dante's Inferno, which is the spring play that Newman is putting on. I will be going into a little bit more detail in a future video about um, what that entails and why the dorms are beneficial for that. But right now, I am in my car, and um, I am about to drive over to the library. And that's another one of the things that's really nice about living at the dorms is that um, even though they are conducive to studying, they're a really good environment for that, sometimes um, the library is just a better environment for you and there's no problem with that. And so um, it's really easy to either drive or walk to wherever you need to be to get the work you need to get done, done. So um, that's just another one of the perks about living on campus is practicality. Hey guys, it's Marie and I am here with my friends Becca and Austin and we are having a paint night tonight. So I just finished this little guy right here. Um, they are still painting. They're actually following a Bob Ross video. So their paintings are turning out really well tonight. Um, so this has been like a super fun activity. It was super spontaneous. And that's what's nice about living at the dorms is like if you have friends here and you just want to do something fun for the night, you can really easily do that. Like if I were to be at home um, and they just started like a paint night, I probably wouldn't have come back to the dorms to hang out with everybody. So it's just really nice for like friendships and just building those up. So if you're thinking about living at the dorms, that's another one of the many perks. Hey guys, it's Marie and I wanted to talk for just a second about how the dorms have helped me maintain my sleep. Um, so we all have those nights as college students where we have to stay up super late to either study or because an event ran late. Um, and last night was one of those nights for me and I woke up this morning and I was exhausted. Um, I still went to all of my classes today but um, I just got back this afternoon, it's around 1.30, and I have some stuff going on later in the day. But the thing about the dorms that's nice is I can come back and have my home base and I have a space where I know that it will be um, quiet and um, I can get a couple hours of sleep in and be ready for the rest of the day. Whereas if you're a commuter student, it's a lot more difficult because you don't always have the space for that. So that's one of the great things about the dorms is the ability to take naps. Hey guys, it's Marie. And um, one of the great things about living on campus, especially um, as an involved student, is um, when I come to Sloppy Joe rehearsals at 10 p.m., I live right here, so I don't have to do like an extra drive. So everybody say hi. hi. <laughs> so I'm really close to all these people and I get to just really easily walk across campus um, to do the things I need to do. So it's just really convenient. Um, so if you are thinking about getting involved on campus. It's convenient. 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 It's awesome it's living on, yes, convenient. convenient. <laughs>